All right, this is going to be a multi-part video. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do here actually is that this clutch, actually this is not my machine, this is somebody else's machine and they brought it to me because they had lost top speed. They had broke, I guess, a spring in the clutch and a secondary clutch. They got it uh, chained by somebody that didn't quite know what they were doing and they haven't been able to reach uh, top speed with the sled so they brought it to me. They brought it to somebody that even knows less than the other person probably but we're going to try to fix it for them. And what we ended up doing is we ended up taking the clutch apart and um, we uh, ended up trying to figure out how to set up the, the clutching but we noticed that the rollers on the clutch, uh, and this is a QRS clutch, the rollers on the clutch were worn, had a very flat spot on them. So we went out and tried to change the rollers and that turned out to be a disaster. Uh, it's the 2013 Expedition, so it has the uh, pins, the uh, spring pins for the rollers. And um, my God, we had a heck of a time trying to get those rollers out, uh, those pins out. We, you know, went all over the internet trying to find information using drill bits and taps and screw extractors. We broke just about everything we had in the shop, and uh, we have not been able to take those uh, pins out. So we gave up. And I don't really give up much on stuff, but I gave up on that because I realized I was getting in too deep, and I wasn't going to be able to fix it. So we put it back together, adjusted the tension on the clutch. Seems to be running well. We can't get out there, and there's not enough snow. There is actually no snow. But uh, after discussions with the, my friend, um, we, uh, we opted for, to say that, hey, we got to get this thing fixed no matter what. Uh, I realized I needed to take the jack shaft off. Didn't know how to do that. And thanks to Dutalk and SUV1 on Dutalk helped me out here and told me that taking the jack shaft on these is a lot easier than on Rev XPs or XMs. You don't have to take the chain case apart or whatnot. It's a sliding yoke on the, on the transmission side. So taking the shaft out appears to be something that's fairly easy. So nobody is doing this on YouTube. I haven't seen any videos whatsoever. So I figured, what the heck? Let's do a YouTube on taking the jack shaft off this expedition. Let's do a YouTube on trying to take those pins out, which is a pain in the butt. We may end up having to drill the uh, clutch. And then we'll uh, do a YouTube on or another uh, segment on uh, ch adjusting the, uh, the spring on it. So that's what we're setting out to do and hopefully it's a success. And if not, then this probably won't air. <laughs> but it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the belt off. Very simple. If you can't figure that part out, like I say in many of my videos, you probably shouldn't be doing this. And if you're like me, it takes quite a bit to stop you from doing stuff. So. Uh, I have a, it's a six millimeter bolt. You can use the uh, skidoo part for it, but I'll just uh, open up the clutch here and slide off the belt. Up here, All right? Off here. Take this off. And the next part. <coughs> is to take the, uh, the nut that holds the retaining uh, or retaining ring, I guess, if you will, for the bearing. Take that off. We'll show you what that looks like. All right, so the next thing is we want to do is uh, take off the, uh, the retainer bolt back here. It's a 13 millimeter. Actually, that as well loosen it, not tighten it. So that's what's holding basically the, the bearing in there. So we've taken that out. Okay, so basically now this thing uh, can be pulled out. So the only thing is uh, SUV recommended that we apply a little bit of heat on the, uh, on the bearing holder here to expand it and uh, we'll do that with the heat gun, warm it up a bit so that when we pull on it, uh, it comes out a little bit easier hopefully. So let me get a, the heat gun. All right, I could be using a torch on this, I guess, but uh, I don't want to ruin the bearing. I'm hoping to be able to save this bearing. And uh, with the heat, there's a lot of plastics and whatnot here. I wouldn't want to be damaging something, so we're gonna just stick with the heat gun. Definitely less heat, but at least you can control it. 
if all goes well, and nothing has on this project so far, but if all goes well, I should just be able to hang, yank this clutch off. So let's see what happens. Oh, was a hell of a lot easier than I thought. Which is good. There you go. Simple as that. When you look at taking one of these things off uh, on, a, on another type of sled like a Rev, heck, this is simple. And you know I got you guys to take this apart? Now that I think about it, I really didn't have to do that. Um, we could, we could, you don't have to loosen that because that'll all come up. So let's get this on the bench and let's go to the next step of this project and let's open this clutch up.